Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this is another episode of RC Plane Week. Yes, I'm a drone guy, but I taught myself how to fly RC planes last year because I just took the knowledge of flying drones and transferred it over to RC planes. And it's so simple. Soon as you can fly these, you can fly an RC plane. And I love RC planes. Now in the drone world, we have two types of drones. We have the camera drones, which most people start out flying because a beginner can fly these. They're so simple to fly. They're GPS enabled. They sit in the air waiting for your next command. So you could buy this from a store and fly it the same day. Then we have the advanced hobby known as the FPV hobby. This, unfortunately, nothing works together with it. So you have to have a lot of knowledge Knowledge, how to get everything to work together on the FPV hobby and then you have to have a lot of skills to fly it but the great thing about the FPV hobby is that you get to fly with FPV goggles first person view so in the RC plane hobby what if we put the camera system out of this on an RC plane so that's what this video is about I did exactly that I took one of my old drones it had a DJI O2 system that worked with these goggles and I pulled it out and I stuck it on an RC plane and you're going to see that in this video and Jedi Steve did the same thing and both of us flew our little planes together it's pretty cool so check this out hey everyone welcome to my channel well in this episode I am going to do some FPV flying with the Kingfisher this is a plane by FMS it's an all-season plane out of the box it comes with skis for the snow it comes with pontoons to take off in water it comes with big wheels for tall grass and it comes with this FPV unit up top now it doesn't come with the camera or anything you have to put your own in so I put a DJ no I put a sorry so I put a run cam digital camera up here very tiny in the module and let me show you how it's powered so here we go here we have the unit you could see my little run cam up front it's sticking out and in the back you could see the digital unit and on the bottom it's powered with a 2s battery so this will go for quite a long time because it only needs a 2s battery to power a digital unit or you can have a 3s battery or 4s battery depends on the unit you have there is no recording inside this so i record in my dji version 1 fpv goggles that's what i'm using version 1 goggles the old ones and it works quite well you can fly around a pretty good distance as long as i have connection with my remote because there's a receiver in the plane as long as this connects with it for flight uh, then we're good because this will go farther than this so if this runs out of range well then the plane goes into oh it's just going to fall out of the sky slowly and i will just watch it falling out of the sky on here so I'm not going to go very far. Jedi Steve is out here this morning as well. And uh, we're going to go fly some FPV and see if we can see each other in the air. So here we go. Now, if you don't want to fly FPV and you don't want this bulky looking cover, it does come with a normal cover that has a windshield up front that fits on here. So that's the cool thing about having the FPV one because it gives it the option. And when you put it all together, you just plug it in like this. And there we go. We're all set to uh, fly. Nice. Oh, you want to be you want to be in the picture, don't you? <laughs> You are a camera hog. Come on, Jaji. She wants to go see all the people over there now. Okay, come on. I'm gonna... Now, one thing to point out for those of you who are new to FPV on airplanes is that if your camera points forward, there's a very good chance that here, let's just move this. You're going to get the prop in the frame. You see how my camera's down here? So whenever you see this prop spinning wildly, it's video from this camera. Now, I'm probably going to stick a camera someplace up here to capture some external footage. If you're not familiar with the FMS Kingfisher, it does fly for like 15 or 20 minutes on a 3S battery or a 4S battery. 4S battery flies very fast. I'm just going to fly it on a 3S battery. And we do have flaps back here. I've put little stickers on them. And of course, we have our ailerons back there. So it's a full featured unit. It's a really good super bush plane. All right, Steve, I'm going to be going up. Are you behind me? Go ahead. Now, this beautiful image you see here is from the Insta360 camera that's facing to the rear. This is what I see in my FPV goggles. Yeah, I see the prop. But after a few seconds of looking forward, my brain all of a sudden no longer sees the prop and I just see the objects in front of me. Now, I did place a tiny Insta360 camera looking forward as well. And you can see here, you barely even notice the prop. The greatest thing about flying an RC plane using an FPV camera and wearing the goggles is that you are basically the pilot of the plane and it is so simple to fly the RC plane because all the movements you make on the joysticks all make perfect sense. Which means you can actually fly the plane better than if you were flying it standing on the ground looking up and watching it in the sky. All right, now it's time to fly two planes in the air. So Jedi Steve has his Aero Scout all set up and he has an FPV camera attached to it and he's taking off. Here we have the view from Jedi Steve's FPV goggles. And when I look to the rear of my plane, I can see Jedi Steve. 
So as I fly forward, I can't tell that Jedi Steve is behind me because all I see is what you see here. So this then becomes a game of cat and mouse. I will fly forward, I will change heights, I will turn, and Jedi Steve has to try to follow me at exactly the same height, the same cornering, everything. This is much harder than it looks because Jedi Steve has to slow his plane down, not to overtake mine, try not to hit the snow as I go low, you can see here in the back he's keeping it above the snow, and match my cornering speed. Now the roles are reversed and it's my turn to find Jedi Steve. There he is up in the air, so I have to get over there and follow him from the rear. This is what I see in my FPV goggles. And this is the view from the Insta360 camera on the top of my plane looking forward. Now both of these planes can stay in the air for 20 minutes or longer with a 2200 milliamp hour LiPo battery. So after flying for quite some time, I thought it was best that I come home for a landing. Now landing with FPV goggles on is actually even easier than it looks. You can see my shadow on the left. I can kind of make out the snow texture and I just bring it down nice and slow, land it, and then I keep the throttle on so I can pull the plane over to where I'm standing. So if you have not tried flying an RC plane with FPV goggles, I highly recommend it. Here we have Jedi Steve flying FPV. What are you flying, Steve? I'm flying a, uh, jeez, I forget the name. <laughs> Isn't it <laughs> Aero Scout? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> sure. There he is, there he is. Watch out for them pose. Here we have the view from Jedi Steve's FPV goggles. He's taking his Aero Scout, flying up high to get a view of the entire area. All right, so you're back to me. Now, let me tell you the following. Flying an RC plane with FPV goggles is freaking awesome. It is a lot of fun. Is it as much fun as flying an FPV drone with goggles? No. I will say this is much more exhilarating doing the drone with the goggles than it is with the plane. However, with the plane, you have an awful lot of time to react because the plane is just going in one direction. You know, it might be going down or up or you're banking a little bit, but you're pretty much going in one direction and you have a lot of time to move your little joysticks on your controller and get the plane to go where you want and even landing I thought the landing would be the most difficult no nope, pretty simple as well so all of that to say if you're in the drone world and uh, you can fly FPV you've got the knowledge and the skills to fly FPV then uh, do the same thing go get yourself an RC plane it won't take you long to learn how to fly an RC plane if you can fly these and then uh, slap an FPV camera on it you're gonna be golden so with all that said I'm gonna put links below to everything I showed in this video because people always ask me what was that plane what was that system you were using what was that so so the links are all below just check below the video description on here and you'll see all that stuff but for now i say if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you in a future video with many more rc drone plane car helicopter and maybe even boat reviews until then i say bye